Hey, this is Lee Bobble in Real Life. So we're going through First Kings and I'm seeing stories that I haven't heard all year, right? So let me tell you about this story. So um, it, it's smart. It, it's kind of smart, but it's kind of stupid. So um, Jeroboam, who's the new king of the northern tribes, he says, you know what? I can't have the people going down to Jerusalem to worship at the temple because if I do, then they may realize, ah, you know what? We shouldn't have separated and he may lose the kingdom. So this is what he did. He put up a, a altar in in uh, Dan and he put up another altar in the middle of the country. Right. So he says, hey, y'all in the northern kingdom, you can go to one of these altars or one of those altars. But so in a way, he didn't want him to go back to Jerusalem. Right. So that they continue to follow him. But you can't do that. You can't make up your own idol. You can't make up your own God and tell people to worship him. No, and he can't do that. And neither can we. We're not supposed to make up our own God. He didn't even use the priest. He used just any random person and say, hey, you know what? You're a priest. He built um, golden calves and said, hey, here's where you should worship instead of worshiping God. That's horrible. That's crazy talk. Yeah, sometimes many of us do that. And a prophet, a man of God called him out and said, hey, you know what? Uh, you cannot do this. Um, and the king says, somebody get him. And he pointed at the guy and the guy and uh, the king's hand withered up. And then he prayed and said, hey, uh, please forgive me. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I really prayed and said, hey, uh, please forgive me. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry. I realize you're a prophet of God and I've messed up. And then what the what the man of God did was he he um, he prayed for him and the, the king's hand was restored. So the king's hand was healed. Then the king said, hey, you know what? Hey, I want to go to your, um, uh, hey, come eat at my house. Come eat at my house. I, I'm sorry for what I did. Come eat with me. And the prophet said, the Lord told me not to eat or drink or to go home, uh, but to go home another way. So I can't come to your house. So the prophet leaves. On his way home, another prophet, another man of God said, hey, let's, um, can you come eat with me? And the man said, nope. I can't come eat with you. Lord told me not to. And the man said, well, the Lord told me that it's okay for you to come eat with me. So he said, oh, okay. So he went and ate with the guy. And then while the guy was there, the, the prophet that tricked him said, uh, you weren't supposed to eat with me. I lied to you. The Lord didn't tell you uh, to do that. And because of that, you're going to die. <laughs> what? This is crazy. Um, and uh, sure enough, the the prophet was on his way home and a lion ate and mauled the prophet to death, right? The prophet died. So, man, this is a horrible story. What's the point of this story? Here's the point of the story. Um, when God tells you to do something, you can't, whether it's a king, a prophet, or anybody else, if it's a king, a prophet, or anybody else, they can't turn you from what God says. Obey God. I just want to put a bow on it. So the lessons that we learned from our reading in First Kings chapter 12, um, 13, uh, and I believe 14, 12, 13, um, is number one, um, there's only one temple, there's only one God. So if anybody uh, brings up another guy and said, hey, you should worship him, we can't because there's only one God. God has established the way that we're to approach him and we can't make up our own rules. Number two, there is a way that seemed right unto man right but the end thereof is the ways of death um so he tried to do it uh be smart you know make a good decision but if it comes against god it is a way of death and then thirdly that post story with the with the prophet um when god tells you to do something we have to listen we have to um nurture and develop hearing God's voice and know that when God tells us to do something, I don't care if it's the king or someone in authority. I don't care if it's someone that's a prophet or a spiritual leader. I don't care who it is. When God tells you to do it, he has a specific plan and purpose for you in your life. And when God tells you to do something, we have to obey him and obey him only. All right. Then we can have the success and the blessing that God has promised us when we walk by his word. All right. Crazy story in first Kings. Go back and read it. Uh, but until then, I'll see you later. Bye-bye, everybody.